everybody. Welcome to Poems by Yas. This is episode 24. And today's topic is fishing. And my poem is called Fishing Adventures. And I'm going to share a story that was in the media. There's two people from Alberta and they went fishing and they caught a 700 pound surgeon. And it's, it was a catch and release. So don't worry, nothing happened to that fish. They released it back into the river. And then I'm going to tell another story about an 88 year old man when he was 16 years old, he made his own fishing rod for fly fishing and he used it for many different fishing adventures all around Ontario. And then he gave his fishing rod to an 11 year old boy. So that's like connecting two different generations. And it was someone that they had a common hobby. So he gave his fishing rod that had a lot of sentimental value away. And I'm gonna show you a clip of my son's first fishing trip. So he took his first uh, fishing trip uh, three years ago and I'll show you um, how he caught his first fish. So let's start with my poem called Fishing Adventures. In the ocean so big and deep, the fish are swimming nicely. If we dive, we can see adventures of a, the underworld beneath. The swimming fish are free in the ocean so deep it is hard to believe. The different colors of the fish so bright and unique it's fabulous to see. It is hard to believe there is a whole different life under the sea. It's just not bank belief. Two people from Alberta, Boyce and Oakland, um, those are their last names, went on a fishing trip to Fraser River. And this is the first fishing adventure they had with a group of people, but they had guides with them. This is called catch and release. So they were planning to catch a fish, but to their surprise, they caught a 700 pound fish called a sturgeon and they caught the fish and they had help of the other people that were with them and they brought it to shore and they took pictures. The fish was seven, actually it was around 10 feet tall. Can you believe it? And after they got the photos, they released it back into the river. They weren't um, very seasoned fishers, but they were very lucky that day that they were able to catch a very big fish and they had this wonderful story to tell, which was also in the media. Um, if I were to give some fishing trips, it's good to go fishing at the right time. Some people say uh, dawn, early morning is a really good time to uh, fish or in the evening between 6 and 8 o'clock. Uh, some fish uh, come up a little bit higher in the water depending on if it's like cooler temperatures and know the spot that you're going to fish. Be patient when you're fishing. Practice makes perfect so sometimes it'll take time. Uh, wear sunglasses, uh, especially in, in the daytime, and be careful that you don't poke yourself. Bring a first aid kit or a flashlight, especially if it's dark outside so that you can see what you're doing. Make a list of the things that you need on your fishing trip because if you miss an item that you need, your fishing trip might not go well, you might not be able to fish. So just be patient and use different uh, types of bait because different uh, types of fish might be attracted to the different type of bait. So if you're used to using just one type, you might not be able to catch the fish that you're looking for. So those are some tips that I have. So if you have some fishing tips, I'd like to hear about it. Write in the comment uh, section what has helped you during your fishing trip. The story I'm gonna tell you is about an 88 year old man. His name is Pat Gillespie. And he made a fishing rod when he was 16 years old. So he used this fishing rod in different lakes and uh, oceans in Ontario and he used it to catch many fish and he found out about another young boy that's 11 years old that loves fly, fly fishing. Uh, it's a young angler boy and he wanted to give this uh, his fishing rod to this young boy because they shared a common interest. They both loved fishing. So when he gave it to the young boy um, this news story was in the media because two different generations shared um, the same hobby and this is how they connected. So when the boy received the fishing rod from him he was very proud to have it and he said that he would want to take it to Newfoundland because the man didn't fish in that area so he want, wanted to have that experience to use the fishing rod in the area that um, the man didn't get a chance to go fishing. So um, the young 11 year old boy, his name is Ellie Billiard and I hope he has a lot of great fishing adventures. So talking about fishing adventures, I'm gonna show a clip of my son three years ago when he was maybe around four years old. Um, I didn't go on this adventure. He went with friends and family. So I'll share when he was catching his first fish. So let's go to the video.
hope you enjoyed this episode, Poems by Yaz. And next week, my poem is called Wars of the World. And I'm going to share inspirational story. My stories are going to be about war. So join me next Sunday.